fuck's sake. You're all out of position, you... Green, green, oh. green. Right side. Still there. We're clear on the right. Right, hello. Penalty for a false start. Oh, God. Right, here we are. Acelo Corsa, Combatizione. And thanks to some absolute dicks of the highest order at the start, being totally out of position, we've got a drive through penalty for basically being over the speed limit at the start trying to get into our grid slot. Anyway, it's a 45 minute race and look, it's raining. Oh, there's going to be... There's going to be some unhappy bunnies in this race. So, I mean, 45 minutes is the sort of race that... All right, Matt. Pit window open. I need to, to drive through. Oh, that's okay. We'll do that now. Um... 45 minutes is the length of time in a race that I'm used to, but not in the rain. On the right. Clear on the right. On your right. Right side's clear. We've got Samir Fock right side. in the race. Hold your line. Is he still behind us? Right side's clear. I don't know where he is, to be honest. He, he started at the back, but I think it appears that I'm now at the back. Let's just get back to the pits. Why has nobody else got a drive through? This is unbelievable. Everybody was pinging it to try and get back to their correct start position. Anyway, 45 minutes in the rain. There's going to be a lot of people crashing. There's 39 in this grid. So. We probably will make up some spaces. People got the wrong tyres on. Well, they got stop goes. How bizarre! A little bit of rain and the whole thing just falls to pieces. But as has been said a lot of times, people want rain in the game, but they don't actually want to race in the rain. It takes it looks clear. Okay, so we've got to hope really that the cars create this dry line and we can start to get down to the mid to low 150s. Oh man, alive, what a start. Anyway, Get a move on, keep her head down, concentrate hard, stay on the dry line as much as we can, and we'll see what happens. I have no doubt that there's going to be people crashing into each other or off the track. There's only one split, so you've got a mixture of the really good drivers and drivers like me. Stay out of the puddles. Give myself a little bit more wing at the back. Just to help get my grip. Or well, perhaps they've come in to do their pit stops early, all those people. But to be honest, these conditions aren't scheduled to change.
Anyway, some a bit different. And we're at Watkins Glen, if you hadn't already spotted. One of the new tracks in the USA download. Which I'm not massively happy about, because there's seven tracks that the GT World the Challenge the are racing on. And they decided to include Watkins Glen. There were three tracks instead of seven. And the reason they gave was about oh what the customers want and what we wanted and, and what data was available. And this what data was available business is absolute bullshit basically. Because coal tires all around. There are up-to-date scans for both Road America and Sebring, which are much better tracks. If you're just going to have three tracks in, then Watkins Glen, Sebring and Road America would have been three superb tracks to race on. Instead of Watkins Glen, Circuit of the Americas, and Indianapolis Road, which is what we got. B31. Anyway, we're going to stay out until about halfway through the race. what I've fueled the car to. Come on. God, that inner loop is a really tricky corner. The leader's just done a 152, 116. And don't forget, rain is coming to iRacing fairly soon because now a lot of the cars have got their windscreen wiper animations enabled. It'd be interesting to see how it compares to the Seto Corsa Competizione. Oh, Fock is behind me. He's done his pit stop already. That's interesting. putting up much of a defence to the guys behind. Come on. gingerly pick our way up through the S's okay Matt we're gaining on the car in front the gap's now 90 seconds the car behind is reeling you in the gap yep. is now 0.6 Side. We're clear on the left side. Let him go. How far to Samir? Come on, don't let him get away. Three and a half seconds.
get up past this bit and let Samir get round. Come dude. the wet back on the dry line. Well, everybody around me has done their one pit stop. It's quite tempting to come do the pit stop now. But we'll let these guys stay out. tricky especially as I find the Acero Corsa Competizione force feedback a bit vague He was 0 0.6, he's now dropped back to 1.2, so now he's back to 0.9. has pitted behind me. So really I'm the only one here who's pitting. I've got to pit again. Perhaps that is the strategy that everybody has in the wet. Pit early. The outside there we'll let him go. Through has hurt us ultimately, but it's a long race, anything can happen.
it's a bit ridiculous with the rain because it, you know there's nothing wrong with racing in the rain it adds a new dimension to your driving and your racing and your car control etc but nobody likes driving in the rain you go to the you go to the uh, public lobbies and nobody has rain I used to have a public server that I'd let people play on and had like community races and I factored in on every race a 30% chance that it was going to rain so it could be grim, could be quite nice but it was always 30% every, th every 10 races three were going to have a bit of rain and the rain was never going to be anything okay, um, really The, um, the rain was never anything really bad. It was only like as bad as this at the most. And um, as soon as it rained, everybody would just quit the lobby. Embarrassing, really. People just didn't want to race in it. of fuel that's unbelievable. I've got to do some quick calculations now. Because this is about 26 laps. Three litres a lap. 17 laps to go. Seventeen times three is fifty-one. Let's put 60 in. We're not changing tyres. Alexander is closing you down. The gap has come down to 2.5. That's all right. Thirteen laps. Very little fuel left. In this lap, box this lap, please, Matt. Get off the water. There's still a lot of people out there who 
haven't pitted. So you never know. Come on, ten seconds. Done, we're racing to the end. 15 laps, it's about half an hour. 22 minutes, okay. Everybody around me's pitted. Ride right a bit further back hasn't. the load in there. And the two in front haven't pitted so it looks like we're gonna get those two back. But to be honest I don't I, as usual we can't trust the ACC um really trust ACC's relatives and stuff. Blue flag. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yellow flag. Come on in. Still 35th. I mean, 35th is all right. We've gained places. Blue flag. 0 0.6, 0 0.5. Let's just go to the right. Come on, dudes. Watch out, under left. Clear left. The guy behind's really new end. The gap's now 14 seconds. It's not really reading me in, is it, though, crew chief? 14 seconds. start was such a cock up with everybody I just couldn't get back when it said because you start in single file for this for the 45 minutes you start in single file and then you'll get back up to your pit guys but I think uh, your your start box but it's really tricky if everybody then just buggers off you can't get back to the pit box Shame you haven't got a text function like pass left or right, like you have in iRacing. We've got Hamelin 1.2, Fock again.
the front is now. Ten seconds. On your left. Clear on the left. Blue flag. Yep. Come on, Samir. Round you come, dudes. Langer is now in the lead. So where's Shamir then? 13th. So he started last, so that's good going for Shamir. forward to doing this race because I wanted to do oh, come on a turn I wanted to do the uh, Watkins Glen we just had a warning for cutting the track yeah they can do one um, but the previous race to this was um, okay Matt as your car exits in the pit heads up V33 was set up with a track time of 11 p.m. at night, so I didn't want to race Watkins Glen in the dark of night because it's not very good as video fodder and thumbnails. Well, forget that. We've made up two places, 33, apparently. Well out of the way here. Come on, dudes. On the right. Clear on the right. Where has he gone? There he is. Right side tires are cold. Well, that was uh, a mystery. Point four to the next guy. I mean, we're pretty much now just a steady procession of guys. And they've all pitted. Come on. Watch your left. Clear on the left side. Another guy's got a drive through behind. All right, Matt. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Keep digging. This isn't over yet. 0.6 seconds to Gavern. Come on, Gavern. I'll stay right. You come round. Good boy. Left side. Left side is clear. He's got to drive through the guy in front. It's funny because the guy in front has got a drive through penalty and that guy Corkery, he just did a drive through the barrier.
Through he goes. It's going to take him a while to get to the end. To the right, start to lift. Come on, dude. My fellow Audi. Yellow flag, stay sharp. The gap in front has increased to 12 seconds. That's not so bad. My fastest lap so far, 157. Not massively fast. So you got damage. Blue flag. Certainly going very slowly, that could be a place gained. Come on. The car in front is pitted. Is he? Well, we can wave goodbye to the car in front then. Esposito's got to stop and go, 30 seconds. Wow. Okay, so we've got a decent gap to the guy behind, plus the guy who's in the pits. So this actually isn't turning out too bad. When we started 35th out of 39, and considering we've had to do an extra trip through the pits, it hasn't been so bad. Tight pressures are all over the shop. But ten minutes remaining, ten minutes. Okay, Matt. Don't think about the lap times. Just hit each and every apex. <laughs> well, it's just, I think this has actually been a really enjoyable race to drive in. Conditions haven't been complete madness. We haven't crashed, we haven't had anybody crashing at us. Two guys behind are fighting. Probably best to let them through after the um, bus stop before we go into the shoot. Should get a blue flag notification any second. Blue flag. We'll go wide here, let these guys go. Got a car on your right. We're clear on the right. Car on your right. Right side, it's clear. A good battle. 
especially for the Lambo, we won't be able to see much. We'll see just how much spray affects my windscreen from this distance. Getting closer, you never know, could be some sort of prank if they get it wrong. Eight minutes to go. I've got loads of fuel. Still at it, fair play to them. Come on, just the next seven seconds. That's okay. Now, I racing this week. The VRS is at Montreal, which I'm not a massive fan of in GT3. There's just so much carnage, it's unbelievable. And IMSA is at Lime Rock, which I'm totally not a fan of because the LMP2s are going to be doing a lap under a minute. So anything that small, I'll just totally stay away from. So we might not be on iRacing this week. The only possible race. We've got a race at Spa in the European Sprint Series, but Spa brings all the crazies out, which is not a good sign because next week the VRS Sprint is at Spa. And the Grand Prix Series is at Suzuka, which isn't bad. We did Suzuka earlier in a Seto Corsa Competizione, so Suzuka we like, and it's a good... It's a good... F1 track. too wide there. Be careful otherwise we're going to get washed out off the track. I think Gavern is going to be the last guy who overtakes us. And dudes. Yes, so it's got to stop, go 30. That's all right, so that's his place. Should get past Graf then. Another 
place. 28 for now. Okay, we are valid. Personal best on this lap. Looks like it. Another lap to go after this, perhaps. Okay, Matt, the window's closed. Considering we certainly weren't expecting this to be a wet race when we signed up. This has been very enjoyable to drive. Unfortunate start. Everybody was all out of position all over the place. made up eight places. Oh, we're really two seconds quicker now. So we're on the last lap. So now we're only three seconds off the leader's pace, so that's not too bad. Most of the race we've been letting people buy under blue flag, so we haven't really had a, a nice clean lap where we can put any good times in. PB before the end. Nice if we can. There's 
the fireworks. Which totally don't work in the rain. But it is what it is. Two behind are fighting, but they're not going to be with us before we get to the end. So started 35th. On the right. The right side's clear. Oh my word, has he run out of fuel? Anyway, started 35th, finishing 24th. That was alright, really. And there's the finish. Good result, mate. Well done. Really enjoyed that. Even in the rain. So, there we go. Thanks for watching then. And I will see you for the next one.